hello guys welcome to my channel so if you're receiving this error that is dxgi error device hung or dxgi error device removed so if you're receiving one of this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to allow the game xc file to control folder access and windows firewall now for this open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 then you will have an option update in security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now over here go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive select this pc open c drive now open program files x86 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app now click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case i have already added the game so once you have the game added over here so let me check so once you have the game added over here now click on ok now you can launch the game and you should be able to launch the game now the next step is to now if you can launch the launcher then turn off fsr 3.0 in game launcher turn off frame generation turn off dynamic resolution scaling and then try window mode so for this launch the game click on play and if you're able to launch the launcher now go to options over here and over here first of all if this is set to exclusive full screen then you can try full screen or you can even switch to window mode now if the hdr is on you can turn it off now here you can see upscale method now if this is set to amd fsr 3.0 in that case you can select dlss you can try DLSS if you want or you can simply turn it off for me when I turned it off it is working so if this is set to FSR 3.0 you can just turn it off and then check now if Nvidia reflects low latency is on you can turn it off and then check frame generation this is important turn off frame generation so if this is set to AMD FSR 3 in that case turn it off this is important upscale method don't select amd fsr for now select you can try off over here and for frame generation also you can turn it off and then you can click on ok and now you can launch the game and then check now if you have disabled the launcher if you have unchecked the launcher option in the launcher in that case you can put dash dash launcher in launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and in the launch option you can type in dash dash launcher and then you can click on play and it will launch the launcher and then you can make these changes and then you can launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the go to this tab and then first of all try this this has worked for many players so it might work for you put a check over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here if not working again go to properties and this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization now this has also worked this has fixed black screen issue for many uh, players so you can 
put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok still not working in that case you can go to properties and this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game and then check still not working you can try to run it as an administrator so put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game from the game installation folder and then you can check if not working you can uncheck these boxes if you want and then follow the next step now the next step is to enable or disable steam input now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the controller tab and over here select the option which says enable the steam input this has also worked for many players so it might work for you try to enable it first and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can try disable steam input and then check check which one is working fine for you either you can try enable or disable and check both and then launch the game next step is to if you are using onedrive make sure that you are logged in so if you are using onedrive in that case make sure that you are logged in or you can simply close onedrive and then check so i will quit the onedrive and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select the right product type for me it's g4 now select the right series now in my case it's 30 series notebook so make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this will be game ready driver now click on search latest one is 552.44 right now so click on download and then click on download once again and let the download complete once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on ok or yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check still not working verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 
1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3, that is 49152, 49152, 49152. Now click on set over here, then click on OK, OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer, make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Also unplug external devices which you are not using. So if you have these devices connected, you can disconnect it and then launch the game. Try launching the game. Like if you have any additional, sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect extra controller and then check. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, you can close it in task manager and then check. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. Also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have like Discord running, you can either turn off overlay in Discord in Discord settings or you can simply quit Discord. Now, if you have GeForce experience running, either you can go to settings and then you can turn off the in-game overlay over here. You can turn it off over here, or you can simply, if you want, you can close GeForce experience. Also, if you have any other overlay application, close all the overlay application and then check. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have any overclocking clocking application like MSI Afterburner running, you can just quit MSI Afterburner, Reaver Tuner or any kind of overclocking application, just close it and then check. Also perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and x64. You have to install both the file. So click on x86 and then you can run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. And now download x64. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file as well. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. And let the installation complete. Now once both the installation are complete, once this is done, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. And then install all the updates. Once it is installed, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update your system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then 
make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and install the latest BIOS. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Now you can update the system BIOS and after the during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. Make a right click, manage, uninstall. Now after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So it, sometimes uh, like we install the game to external drive like D drive, E drive. In that case, you can try to reinstall the game to C drive. If the game is already installed in C drive, then you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.